great so hi jitendra uh, it's a good day for you uh, how are you it's been long yeah, I'm, yeah so, i'm okay and uh, it's my pleasure to be with you today yeah thank, thank you so you, much thank you, thank you jitendra so it's a been uh, four months right you got placed in your uk yeah so i got my job in month of december yeah okay yeah great so jitendra just actually uh, a few of our students also who are uh, staying there in uk they are pursuing their master maybe i want to know about uh, more about your placement and uh, how your uh, previous uh, 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 like uh, details uh, your i can say like you know, it's, uh, it's a self intro uh, could you please uh, make a uh, self intro for our people Yeah, so my name is Jitendra Singh. So I did my bachelor's in mathematics in 2015. So after that, uh, actually, I was really fascinated by field of uh, data analytics and data science because I was very good at numbers. Then yeah, I realized yeah. how numbers can, you know, uh, help companies to make, uh, you know, better decisions. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, I learned some basics of uh, SQL and Python, and uh, so after that, I I came to know about the KSA data vision, mm -hmm. and uh, where one of my friend recommended me to join KSA data vision for a course, especially for a Power BI developer and okay. uh, other data engineering. So, but mm -hmm. I was more interested in a Power BI. So it was one of it was one of the greatest experience because I I got trained by well experienced staff of of a KSR data vision where I did training of a Power BI that lasted mm -hmm. for a three months mm -hmm. and I was fully trained and uh, after that I started applying I before that I came to UK. So mm -hmm. after completion of my master degree, I was not feeling like fully prepared to get a job. Mm -hmm. And then I realized I should do some extra courses. Mm -hmm. And then I joined a KSR and I did my Power BI course. Then I started mm -hmm. applying for a jobs. Okay. Then I got overwhelming okay. response from okay. the okay. employers. Yeah. Okay, great. So, can you share any memorable experience or any significant challenges uh, overcome? You are overcome during the courses. Like you face, like this is difficult to me, or else it's easy to me. Any of your, your memorable uh, significant challenge? You have any experience those kind of things? Yeah, I did a uh, uh, project. It was related to healthcare. So mm -hmm. that project helped helped me a lot to learn a Power BI and to learn how business intelligence is you know, making a, a playing a crucial role in companies to make uh, data driven decisions. So that mm -hmm. was that project was based on um, uh, it was based in Australia. It was an Australian company. So mm -hmm. uh, because uh, I got to know how Power BI can be connected to multiple different sources because data integration was a biggest challenge mm -hmm. in that project. Yeah. And secondly, the I got to know about the BRD, like business requirement documents, and mm -hmm. I got to know understanding the requirements of client, what exactly they are looking for. So that project helped me a lot to uh, mm -hmm. learn a business intelligence, especially the tool Power BI. Okay. Okay, great. So during the, your job placement, like uh, uh, in fact, a okay, case or have uh, multiple contacts uh, across the uh, US, Canada, and in fact, even in Mexico, direct contacts, we have some consultancies. IF. To be frank, uh, UK, we have very less resources. We don't have any direct IF with the consultancies. We do have only the few people who got placed pre uh, previously. So those contact only. So I helped with you only with uh, helping with uh, those people to, uh, to give their contacts. So actually how it helped uh, after giving the contact and after adding you to the particular group, in our WhatsApp. So I didn't connect with them uh, multiple times, so to be frank. So those people mm -hmm. only taking care and I guess uh, Mr. Sai Krishna also, right? So those yeah. people helped you a lot. So how it's uh, this entire process? I am not ever much actually. So I know just I given the um, uh, contact of those people and later I didn't much up, um, focus on you, right? So how those people helped you actually? The entire process. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Sai and some other people, they were already working before me and they know the present market of UK, what companies are looking for. And they mm -hmm. guided me. So what skill or what skill I need to be a good at to get mm -hmm. a job in the UK. And uh, 
they were also giving me a reference of uh, some jobs. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mr. Sai, he took some mock interviews, which mm -hmm. really helped me a lot to uh, prepare myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. So yeah, one of the good thing about K KSR is they are they are conducting a mock interviews to uh, prepare mm -hmm. the student. So yes. which yeah, which is one of the good thing about it. Okay. Uh, so actually, we build our own application, a build application also for mock interview, but it's not at finalized. We are working on it. Uh, maybe very soon I will launch as in a commercial point of view. Also, we'll get to know some uh, more updates on this, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, uh, connections matter a lot when it comes yes, to getting right. a job. Because in every country, the interview is like in India. We need to be a good at. Uh, we need to be a uh, technically sound mm -hmm. but if we talk about uk it's it's job market is quite different we mm -hmm. need to be a uh, more practical so they focus more on what you have done in your life mm -hmm. on what yeah. project you have worked so they mostly ask questions about your project mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and secondly yeah. they they look at how you can be fit in the organization as well. OK, yeah. so good. So actually, uh, I want to know a few more things uh, like it may help you to the future as friends. So uh, maybe it's a possible. Uh, what are your current roles and responsibilities there in a brief? Like uh, if it's in a complicated or else it's in a, a not a shareable, maybe you can ignore. But uh, uh, possible ways like your roles and responsibility your day to day work, uh, uh, what your typical work on every day, like what kind of things you are facing. So anything those kind of things are you able to share with us? Yeah, currently I'm working as a business intelligence analyst for a YMCA. The company stands for uh, Young Men Christian As Association. It's one of the biggest charity of a UK. Mm -hmm. So currently I'm working on a like a project. So it's a safeguarding project. Mostly the main motto of company is to transform young young life of young people. Mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. people, young people who are struggling in terms of accommodation and mm -hmm. as well as education. So they are giving them a mentorship as well as uh, counseling. If some if young oh. children, they are suffering from any mental health, they are providing a mental health counseling. So these are mm -hmm. the services they the company is providing to the people. So okay. I one of the good thing is uh, I have I, I'm getting exposure to work a wide variety of a data. Mm -hmm. Nice, good yeah. to hear. Like. Yeah. So good. Yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, so uh, some other like things are uh, like uh, your advice also like, um, so about the future aspirants on a data analytics or data science or BA experts. Um, so uh, what's your thoughts to uh, focus on their youngsters or else who are aspiring uh, for data analysts either in India or else either abroad? What kind of advice you can in able to share with abroad, us? Abroad, uh, I think nowadays it's it is must to upskill ourselves to mm -hmm. you know stand out from the crowd. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. nowadays, if you look at the job market of UK and US, it is booming for uh, data engineering nowadays. <laughs> yes, if anybody's yes. yeah, if anybody's looking for a better career in these countries focus on a data engineering along with the data analytics yes exactly. because yeah because everything is going on cloud companies are migrating uh, are migrating from on premises to cloud nowadays mm -hmm. so there is a huge demand of a data engineer data engineer if you know power bi along with data engineering then it like it is i think you are a, nearly a job ready in a UK. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So you said like a cloud engineering, right? Even we have a multiple clouds here, either AWS, Azure. So from your thoughts, like your experience in current, uh, which cloud is going good actually? Or else multi clouds? What's your thoughts here? If we look at the job market of UK, mostly companies, they are mentioning about Azure. Azure. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Azure. So about because, Snowflake and AWS, you yeah, heard anything? Yeah. They have. But Azure is the, I think, is on the top of the list okay. because mm -hmm. companies, lot. I think the ninety percent companies they are already using a Microsoft products like a Power mm -hmm. BI, Excel, you know, SharePoint. Yes. So, so then integration becomes easier for them if they 
they you know if they look at azure because azure is a product of a microsoft mm -hmm. so in your yeah. current project you are using azure now so yeah i'm using a, yeah i'm using azure data factory which is a e cloud based etl tool mm -hmm. which is used to transform a data if we have to do a, some complex transformations then mm -hmm. i'm using not like fully but sometimes uh, i'm using in my projects Right. So uh, yeah. about Snowflake or AWS, you, uh, like I saw recently for a few students, they are working with the Snowflake also, particularly the BA developers. So they are integrating yeah. or else they are uh, collecting the data yeah. or something. Yeah, so yeah. you have any those kind of tasks in your current work? No, as of now, I don't have um, projects related to Snowflake, Snowflake okay. or AWS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great, great. So it's uh, good to hear as a uh, Sajitendra. So you have any other things like uh, to want to share with our students or uh, like uh, any suggestions from you? Suggestion is just keep working hard and upskilling is very important. Yes. So yeah. uh, this part, Ajitendra, I can say uh, mostly when I'm connecting with the students and uh, one to one, I'm, I'm saying like uh, some kind of harsh words. When you are not upskilling or upgrading, it's equal to in a career suicide. Exactly. I'm using this word as well. So regularly, like uh, even I'm saying to the people, you have to crack even one interview in every year. Might be yeah. you're changing your organization or not. It's a different story. But just yeah. to try to crack one interview in every year. So it will boost yeah. in a confidence and you will get to know what exactly yeah. happening in the market. Yeah. Uh, example, I can say you are trying for a next year in 2024, you're looking for another job. If you are not even getting call in the sense, you have to look into your profile. Where, exactly. which kind of skills I need to add, right? You getting calls and you are active, participating in the interview, but when uh, cracking the interview, you are getting, um, they are expecting more topics like Azure now. In future, maybe AWS or Snowflake, yeah. they are expecting in the sense you have to upskill on that particular yeah. topic, right? Yeah. So upskilling and upgrading, it's a never ending process every year. So regularly yeah. we have to upskill. And uh, I can suggest to the students and uh, aspirants, you have to be prepared for an uh, interview daily basis. You exactly. have to try to crack even one interview in every year. Yeah. Yeah, changing a company, uh, it's a different story. No need to change the company yeah. frequently yeah. until unless you are good there. But cracking an interview, it will be boost your confidence. Right? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. So uh, we are also looking for the some mentors. Maybe your mentorship also need for our students. Uh, any okay. students in the UK, if they need any support, I will give your contact. Like I will share okay. your LinkedIn bio here. Right. Okay. So is it fine okay. to you, right? Yeah, yeah, it's okay for me. Yeah. Great. I Great. love helping a people because the company I'm working for. It's just all about, you know, helping a people. It's a charity. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah. So good, to, good to hear, Jitendra. So thank yeah. you. Thank you so much for your valuable information for our students. So we'll meet very soon. Um, I hope you are joining for Azure Data Engine now. You have to upskill, yeah. right? Yeah. Again. Yeah. So you can learn those topics as well. And uh, maybe we will connect again. And uh, we need your mentorship, like uh, taking some sessions for our students. Uh, uh, what your knowledge like in a weekends or something when you're possible. Okay. And one more course uh, which yes. I want to suggest is if somebody is good at programming, so mm -hmm. generative AI is also generative. a future. Yeah. Yes, yes. So we started like, already by yeah. Koti sir actually, who is the founder for uh, KSR, who started yeah. early around uh, eight, nine years back itself. So yeah. now he was uh, taking about generative AI as well. Yeah, right. it's a very good course and it's a future. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. yes. So these topics also, it's a frequently will change the uh, curriculum, uh, the yeah. topics, uh, even yeah. data analytics also now might be power way in the demand, but uh, frequently maybe the tool may yeah. change in future, yeah, exactly. but analytics will be remain stay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Singh sir. Um, maybe you. we'll meet soon again. Uh, okay. So when Thank you are you. coming to the India, maybe we'll meet. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank yeah, you. yeah, of course. Thank you. Thank, <laughs> Thank you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you.